thrust towards the door away from him. Mm -hmm. And now he can help me. He can bring his toes back, like that, and push his heel out gently, stretching out down the calf of the leg, and along the leg right into the heel. And then he can let it go. And then he can do it again. And he can let it go. And he can do it again. And let it can go. And again. And let it go. And <coughs> he can do that in bed. If he likes. It's quite a useful thing to do. Uh, people who get cramped in bed now often find it useful to do just that. To bring the toes back and stretch into the heel. Now I'll take this one. Now take it up, again back, and squash his back down with his leg. And he's going to point the heel out and shove the leg out there towards the door. And then he must let it go. And I'll bring it up again. That's it. And I'll just reinforce the direction of the neck, head, and back, and then I'll come round to the other leg, and we'll do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'll come and take this leg, lift it up, and take it back, and squash the back down with it. And now you can help me bring the foot back and the heel out and push the heel away out slowly there so that the leg is straightened and then let it go. And then stretch it out and let it go. Stretch it out and let it go. Stretch it out and let it go. That's it. Now take this up. What is that? That's what I do. Right, well, is there anything else you'd like to me to do? Only if there's something else you tend to do in a lesson. Uh, yes, well, uh, yes. I'll get him. Uh, I'll get him up, and uh, we'll get him to do a swing up. Sit here? Yes, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, take, put a chair behind him, and then he's going to aim himself upwards <coughs> and go to the chair. Mm, the usual thing. Go up there and I'll bend your knees. Mm -hmm. It wasn't very good, is it? No, huh? Knees were full. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to lean back, and I, I think maybe I'll do it. Uh, He's going to go up there and lengthen, right the way back there. He's going to get a stretch along his spine as I bring him off the chair. You see? So he leaves his back all the time backwards. Now, this is not as easy as it looks, because usually they try and help him, and they lose the thrust up the spine, and then they become heavy. But if it's well done, it takes quite, it's quite easy. See? See? Right, now, perhaps a good call would be a good idea if you did the wrong thing now. Mm -hmm. If you, you pulled your head back and hollowed your back when I was getting you up out of the chair. To see, demonstrate the, the difference. Yes, 
and that becomes very, very heavy and, and awkward. <laughs> uh, and now do the wrong thing and pull yourself down there to try and help me. I'm going to take there. Yes, and that again is what I don't want. We're getting a, a downward thrust of the body. Now we'll do the right. We'll do the right thing, and we we'll fall out of the chair like that. It's very nice and easy. That's it, like that. Ah, uh, yes. Now I'll get him to. Uh, <coughs> Go up, uh, let's have his feet together. We'll get him to go up into the toes, down to the heels, and then into the chair. I don't think we did that. Will you do, did you do it before? I don't toes, think so. heels, and chair. And my foot's back, back, heels down. And we do that. Yes. That's it. Good. Yes, that's it. Right, now we'll get him to go up from the toes down to the heels and into the chair. Up into the toes, go up to go down onto the heels and up into the chair. That's it. So that's fine, thank you. Right, we'll get up, stay back, heels down. That's good. And up into the toes, down to the heels and into the chair. That's it. Toes, heels, and chair. And toes, heels, and chair. <clears throat> the important thing there is, of course, we're the uh, same with everywhere else, that you get the freedom of the neck and the upthrust in the spine all the time that this is happening, and that he doesn't do uh, the opposite of pulling himself down. Uh, we'll get him to pull, do the opposite of pulling himself down. Uh, pull yourself down forward this time. Uh, uh, throw your chest forward and pull the head back. That's what we don't want. We'll do it again. That's what we don't want. Okay. And uh, now we'll do what we do want. Stay where you are and aim upwards. That's it. That's good. That's good. Right. Anything else you'd like done now? Lunch. A lunch. A lunch. We haven't done yes, a lunch. Yes, we do a lunch. Uh, I will be, uh, yes, take that away. Uh, I will get you to lunge, uh, we'll get you to lunge to the left, I think. Aim upwards and lift the, the front leg up, uh, lift the leg up and drop forward onto the bent leg. Okay. You get the stretch along the spine and bring yourself back up straight again, again with a stretch along the spine and stretch upwards and bend the back knee to go down and up to come up and up to come forward and up to come back and up to go down and up and forward and back and down up and forward. Now this is a really very simple movement which you'd be uh, done by many people during the day. Uh, it is very necessary that people should learn to get the length into their spine or keep the length into their spine as they move, as they do things, as they pick things up. And that's one of the ways of doing it. Could I ask you to do it pointing towards head? I will, yes. yes. Thank you. Right. Uh, uh, okay, that. Like that? That's fine, thank you. I right, am upwards. Stretch. Upwards and then drop forward onto the bent leg. Aim upwards along your spine and come up straight. Aim upwards and bend the back knee there. Aim upwards and come up. Aim upwards and get forward. Aim upwards and come back. Aim upwards and come down. Aim upwards and get up. And forward and back and down. Up and forward and back and down. Forward. Yes, this is <coughs> a thing that one should use many times during the day, leaning forward and picking things up and so forth. And uh, uh, it is usually uh, 